Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number two, Stock Feeding System. One of the many features of the automatic screw machine is its ability to feed the right amount of bar stock into the cutting area at precisely the right time. The feed system is made up of several different components. All of these parts must work at exactly the right time for the feed system to work properly. The purpose of this tape is to help you identify by name, locate, and be able to explain the purpose for each of the major components in the stock feed system. This is the stock tube. The purpose of the stock tube is to provide support to the rotating bars of stock being used by the automatic screw machine. This is the feed tube latch. The purpose of the feed tube latch is to provide the backward and forward motion necessary for the feeding of the bar stock into the work area. The feed tube latch moves a tube called a pusher during the feed stroke. This is the pusher. The purpose of the pusher is to push the bar of stock into the machining area. The pusher is composed of the feeder tube, the feed finger, and the stock guide bushing. The feed finger screws into the feeder tube. Stock must be fed into the machining area after the finished part has been cut off. To understand the sequence of events involved in the feeding of stock, watch this demonstration carefully. Think of the operator's left hand as being a collet. The collet is normally closed and holds the bar of stock as the various cutting operations take place. The feed stroke begins when the collet opens. The opening of the collet is timed with the forward movement of the feed tube latch. As the feed tube latch comes forward, the pusher moves forward. Since the collet is no longer holding the stock, the pusher pushes the bar of stock forward. The collet then closes and holds the stock as the machining cycle begins again. The pusher is pulled back by the feed tube latch. Since the collet is closed and holding the bar of stock, the pusher slides back over the stock and is ready for the next feed cycle. Now watch the sequence as we hand crank the machine. Collet opens, stock is fed, collet closes, pusher draws back. There is one additional part to the stock feed system. This is the stock stop. The purpose of the stock stop is to limit the forward travel of the bar stock as it is fed by the pusher. The stock stop provides an accurate method of controlling the length of the parts being produced by the automatic screw machine. There are two types of stock stops that are used on the Brown and Sharp machine. The first type mounts into the turret and is indexed into position at the right moment during the stock feeding portion cycle. The second type of stock stop is the swing stop. It moves into position in front of the spindle just before the feed stroke. It then returns to its original position as the turret starts forward. This is the feed adjusting knob. The purpose of the feed adjusting knob is to vary the amount of stock being fed by the pusher. The feed scale and feed pointer will indicate the amount of stock feed the mechanism will provide. The feed adjusting knob will be set to feed approximately a quarter of an inch more than is needed to reach the stock stop. This completes your television training tape on the stock feed system. You may watch this tape as many times as you need. When you have finished watching this tape, return to the operator's booklet for your next step.